Hi everyone, Angela here. In this video, I'll show you how to make a quick and easy toy for your cat. Links for all the tools I use are in the description below. Start by stacking three small pieces of fabric together. With the pattern traced onto cardboard, trace all around with the marking pen and also mark out all the notches. Remove the pattern and pin through all the layers. Cut out all three layers at once and then cut out all five notches about an eighth of an inch deep. Remove all the pins and separate your fabric pieces. Now because we're sewing small curves, set your machine to a shorter stitch length. Place two pieces right sides together, matching the sides with the two notches. With a quarter inch seam allowance, start by back tacking at that center notch at the top. Now slowly sew around that curve by having your needle down and lifting your foot to pivot every couple of stitches. When you get to the first notch on the side, back tack, skip over to the next notch, back tack, and then sew around till you get to the center notch on the other end and back tack. Next, lift and open up that top layer and finger press it down in half. Place the third piece of fabric on top, right sides together, matching all the notches. So we're starting our next row of stitching from the center notch, catching this layer with this layer and not catching that top layer that was just sewn. Again, start by back tacking at that center notch, but this time you're going to stitch all around until you get to the other end. Now you may want to put a pin at the other notch so that you know where to stop and back tack and not catch the other layer. Lift up your fabric and push all the sides that have been sewn out of the way. We just need to sew these last two layers together. We can match our next stitch line to the ones we just finished. Again, back tacking at the start and finish. So now all three seams are sewn with one opening for the stuffing. Now if you want, you can trim down all of the corners by cutting away about half of the seam allowance. You want to make sure that you don't cut too much and too close to the stitching. Next, turn it right side out and use a knitting needle or point turner to push out all the corners. If you have little bells, you can stuff them into each end and you can also add a little bit of catnip. For the main stuffing, I'm using used cellophane from the florist. Cut it up into smaller pieces and then stuff it into the toy. Don't overstuff it so there's a bit of room for the cellophane to make that crackling sound. When it's full, fold in and match the seams of the opening and use a couple of pins to hold it in place. Thread your needle so you have a double thread and make a knot at the end. Start by inserting the needle in the opposite direction of the opening, pull through and hide your knot. Then turn around and we'll slip stitch across the opening to close it. Sew short stitches through the top folds of each layer so that this seam is nice and secure. If you're finding this video helpful, make sure to like, share, subscribe, turn on all of your notifications and leave a comment below. When you get to the end, make a knot, insert your needle through the seam and out the fabric and then pull tight to hide the knot. So this is what it sounds like. Now let's see if the kitty cat likes it. I think I'm going to call this a win. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, take care and happy sewing.